I grew up in a Catholic home and actually it was a pretty non-religious home. My parents didn't really go to church or anything. But they sent my siblings and I to Catholic school to kind of get some morals and to learn about God. From a very young age, um, it was all about doing things to earn his approval and his love. So I was a very good kid. I followed all the rules. I did everything right. But then I felt very lost because my grandparents who were living with us, they both died. Going through some of the loss and some of the, the suffering, I started to doubt the goodness of God. I grew up in St. Jamestown. There was a lot of bad stuff happening around me and I just couldn't wait to get out of this community and escape all of it. My dad and I didn't really get along sometimes. I felt like he was cold and distant and my mom and I always fought and my siblings and I weren't very close. There was no real direction in my life or um, hope or purpose. I had a hard time reconciling a good and loving God with him allowing so much suffering to happen in the world. When I started high school, I decided that I no longer wanted to worship this God or earn his approval because I didn't think he was fair and I didn't think that he actually loved me. And I remember having this conversation with him. Um, it wasn't really a conversation actually, it seemed very one-sided at the time. And uh, I remember just saying to him, you know God, I hate you. I do not want anything to do with you. I will not worship you. I can be a good person without you, because I thought that's all that Christianity was, was about being a good person. My friend at the time, my best friend in high school, she had been inviting me to church for four years and I kept saying no, no, no. But after that summer I came back and I decided to uh, go with her. I, I'll never forget the my impression, my first impression when I walked in. I was so amazed that there were so many young people. Like these were high school students and they were following God and not only that, they were so, they had this joy that I, I had never seen before. Um, I, I mean, I grew up going to Catholic school and everybody was there because their parents wanted them there and they, they didn't really believe the things that they were taught. But these young people, they were so excited and so on fire. The leader, the youth leader, he shared the gospel in a way that I had never heard before. And I remember in that moment when I heard that, it clicked, it hit me. And I realized that it was for me. God sent his son to die for me, to save my life. And suddenly, all the questions that I had, all the doubts about God, didn't matter anymore because I realized that he loved me. And I didn't need to earn his love, I didn't need to be a good person to earn his love, he loved me. And that changed my life. When I encountered this love from God, I started loving people around me in a way I had never loved before. And But after I became a Christian, and I made this decision to follow God, I suddenly, um, saw my family through different eyes and I realized that God loved them too and and I just uh, I just yearned for them to know that kind of love that I knew it one uh, year it was a very big surprise to my family my father actually uh, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and it, it was uh, it was extremely hard for us so um, and there were points where I I was very confused and I thought God why is this happening like I'm a Christian now, shouldn't things be better? But I knew that it was more than that. I knew that just because I was a Christian, life wasn't gonna get easier. Life is hard whether or not you're a Christian. But with God, with God, life with Him, I had this peace. And I had this um, assurance that, that He was with me and that He had everything under control, that He knew what was going on. But I feared, my, I feared for my father. And I remember feeling like, um, God, I wish you could, reach him, like show him your love. Dem and my siblings and I, we, we had shared the gospel with him so many times, but my dad was so stubborn, didn't care. And then this, in this uh, four months period, it was only four months he was sick, he, he, his body deteriorated um, so bad, like so fast. And in, around Christmas time, m my siblings and I, the four of us, decided to share our testimonies with him one by one. And so we shared our stories of how God had transformed our lives, but we also told our dad um, how we felt about him, that we loved him, and that um, that we forgave him for the times he failed us, and we actually reconciled with him um, all our differences. And, and something changed in my father that day. I noticed that he became a bit more open, and he allowed us to pray for him And on his deathbed. He called me to come to his side, and at this point he could barely speak, but he said to me, Michelle, Michelle, I've been talking to God, I've been talking to Jesus, and I'm ready to go home to him. And he 
he asked me to pray for him and I did and those were his last words and then my father um, went to sleep and he died the next day and I remember thinking to myself I was just amazed at the faithfulness of God and I knew about him but I know him now and I'm growing to know him more and more every day and I'm so in love with him and I, I don't want to go back to that time where I didn't know him because right now this is this is what life's about and uh, and um, yeah, it's incredible with him.